I have received a lot of questions about this topic, like why can't I use Ampiclos and Anjuliva salt to prevent pregnancy? Does alcohol prevent pregnancy? What about salt and water or hot water and energy drink? Do they help to prevent pregnancy? These are some of the questions I've gotten from my short videos. So I decided to make this video to explain each one and I'll be going through them one by one to show how they work. And at the end of this video, I'll be sharing with you the one that actually works. <music> Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra. I'm a registered nurse and midwife with a BNSC degree. On this channel, I talk about all things health. If this is your first time here, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so that when I upload subsequent videos, you'll be the first to get notified. With that being said, let's dive straight into the video. I am just going to say that taking salt and water after sexual intercourse to prevent pregnancy is a common myth. Some people believe that this helps to like flush out the sperm, but it isn't true. Trust me. Now let's break down why this doesn't work. Just imagine this. When you drink salt and water, it travels down to your digestive system. I repeat, it travels down to your digestive system just like any other food and water would. It doesn't logically go into the reproductive system. Instead, it is absorbed by your stomach and intestines and the rest is processed by your kidneys. Your reproductive system is completely separate, like there are two different things. When the semen is released, the sperm travels into the cervix and the uterus all the way up to the fallopian tube where it goes to like fertilize the egg. So there is no connection between the reproductive system and the digestive system. Meaning when you drink salt and water, there is no way it's going to reach or affect the sperm. Now I know some people will say they've been taking this mixture every time they have sex and it's been working for them. Well, my sister, let me tell you this, you are just being lucky, if I should put it that way. Because if you don't get pregnant after taking salt and water, you were probably not ovulating or your partner has low sperm count or, or it could be other reasons. It could just be other reasons, but it's not because of the salt and water you took. So drinking salt and water doesn't have any business whatsoever with your reproductive system. It is not capable of flushing out sperm. I also got this question, why can't I use Bisham Ampiclos to prevent pregnancy? Yes, I think they just like to put that Bisham because we all know that Bisham Ampiclos is a very strong antibiotic. So the thing is, like I just mentioned, Bisham Ampiclos is an antibiotic. It is designed to treat bacterial infection and not to prevent pregnancy. So just like your salt and water, these Ampiclos would not have any impact. They do not have any impact on the sperm. If you've been taking Ampiclos after sexual intercourse to prevent pregnancy, you should stop it, please. Because taking it regularly can lead to antibiotic resistance, making it harder to treat bacterial infection when truly needed. So I'm sure you wouldn't want to find yourself in such a position. Another common belief is that drinking alcohol like dry gin after sex can help kill the sperm. But here is the truth. Alcohol in your stomach doesn't have any impact on the sperm that is already in your reproductive system. So this might just look like a remedy, but it is not scientifically proven. Alcohol can affect your liver and other organs, but not the sperm inside your body. So guys, alcohol doesn't have any business with preventing pregnancy. Some people also mentioned using hot water, Andrew liver salt and energy drink. Well, just like salt and water, like I explained earlier, these things don't have any impact on the sperm that is already in the reproductive system. And taking these things might cause stomach upset or make you feel different, but they have zero effectiveness in preventing pregnancy, trust me. So what is that thing that works? Like, what is that thing you can actually use to prevent pregnancy immediately after sex? The only scientifically proven methods are the use of emergency contraceptive pills like the plan B, the morning after P, posting or two, or other options. These drugs are specifically designed for this purpose. So unlike your Angelina salt, Ampliclos, salted water, hot water, and the rest of them, these emergency contraceptive pills are formulated in a way that they help to delay ovulation or make it harder for the sperm to fertilize the egg. But remember that you have to take this within a certain time frame. 
which is usually from 24 to 72 hours after sexual intercourse. So you have to take it within this time frame for it to work effectively. I believe you've learned something from this video. If you have any questions, kindly drop them in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to share the video with your YouTube communities, friends and family. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video. Bye.